Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about electromagnetism. So this is a little summary note on electromagnets. That the basic principle, so when electricity flows in a wire, a magnetic field is formed around that wire. The stronger the current, the stronger the magnetic field will be. When a current stops flowing, there is no magnetic field. So as you can see right here, that wire carrying electric current, we have magnetic field around it. So electrons flowing along the wire produce a circular magnetic field around it. More current means a stronger field. Switch it off and the field will die instantly. And how can we make a stronger magnetic effect? If we make a coil of wire called a solenoid, the combined effect of the magnetic field around each wire results in a bar magnet being created. The more coils, the stronger the combined magnetic field. So right here we have a pencil and we have a wire. So wrap the wire into a coil, switch on the current, and it behaves like a bar magnet. The more turns there are in the coil, the stronger the magnet is. So then we have making an electromagnet. If we put a soft iron core inside the solenoid when a current flows, an electromagnet is formed. So we have here iron barn, we have here coil, we have here a switch, and we have here a battery. So you can make a simple electromagnet with a battery, a coil of wire, and an iron bar, which technically means a big nail will do as well. So flick the switch on to activate the magnetic field, and the magnetic field will be formed around the iron bar. Strength increase if it has more coils and more current, and a bigger iron core. So. Electromagnetism explains how electricity and magnetism are related and how each can be used to create the other. An electromagnet uses an electric current to create a magnetic field. How it works, current goes on, electromagnet is formed. Armature is pulled towards the magnet and this closes the contact. So the main circuit is completed. So the motor will go on. So how a relay works. So we have here magnets attract the armature and armature closes uh, contact. So we have here the motor and we have here the output circuit and we have here the input circuit. So and this is how what we're going to use to test your knowledge. Okay. And those are the answer key and more questions. So can't wait to see you this week.